Hi, this is Matthew. This is a uh, teaching series on 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Uh, if you go to my uh, channel, uh, you can uh, watch the whole series or pick any verse that you like in 1 uh, Corinthians 14 and listen to what it says and listen to the videos after or before it, whatever you like to do. Uh, this verse is uh, in the text uh, underneath this video in the description tag so I uh, go down there and have a look verse 17 says uh, this is uh, teaching on John 14 17 uh, 1 Corinthians 14 17 and it says uh, for you indeed give thanks well but the other is not edified um, on the end of 16 it says and you're giving a th thanks uh, and you're giving a thanks since he does not understand what you say. Um, I don't understand this. I think it's like a prayer of thanks, uh, a, a prayer of blessing, a prayer of thanks over a person and over a church. And Paul is saying here, um, if you give thanks in uh, to people in tongues, um, you know... Um, the person isn't edified, the person isn't built up and encouraged and, uh, and inspired and given direction by your tongues. If you're giving thanks and praying a prayer of thanks over a person or a church, the other person isn't built up because they don't understand what you just prayed if you prayed it in tongues. So Paul was saying in from the verse 13 to 16 that uh, if you pray in tongues, pray that God would give you the gift of interpretation of tongues so that you can pray in tongues and then you can pray in English the interpretation of what you just prayed. So when giving thanks, uh, which I don't understand that custom, but when giving thanks over a person or a church, I assume you do it in tongues. You pray the uh, blessing in tongues uh, over the church or the person, and then you pray the interpretation of that blessing uh, of thanks that you're praying over them. Then they'll understand what was said. Then they'll be able to say amen. Paul has made a point in chapter 14 and he'll go on to make a point that uh, tongues is no good spoken or prayed, prof prophesied or prayed in a congregation without the interpretation being there too. Uh, he's gone to great lengths to share that and if uh, you uh, listen to the video series on the specific verses from uh, about 6 to 12 you'll realize that um, the Apostle Paul had problems with this happening in the Corinthians church they, they must have been so pumped up with praying in tongues they were bursting out in tongues at all inappropriate places and times in church services and among brethren and Paul's trying to say hear that the only time you should be praying in tongues is when you can pray with understanding of those tongues through interpretation of tongues, the gift. Do you understand that? I, I try and make it uh, simple and uh, but we're talking about something that can be a little complex and uh, I wonder whether I capture it properly. Uh, to live up to the title of this video I've got to capture, capture it simply and expound it to you simply. Um, if you knew someone who was a speaker of uh, French and you went to France and took your friend who was French, wouldn't you love that person? and always have them around when you're trying to communicate in restaurants and get directions and communicate with uh, young girls that you might be seeing if you're a young guy or uh, young guys if you're a young girl 
you'd always have your little French friend with you to interpret for you. Or Paul's saying the same thing. Pray for understanding of your tongues so you've got your interpreter. You've got interpretation and so you can communicate well. I hope uh, that didn't confuse you. Uh, so um, I've uh, operated a, a, a few times in churches. People have prophesied in tongues and God has given me the in interpretation and it's really edified the church. Uh, one time he gave me an interpretation to the tongues and someone else uh, gave the interpretation to the tongues before I said it because it was the first time I'd ever got an interpretation I was a bit nervous someone else gave an interpretation it was exactly what I had in my mind so I was very edified that time although I didn't uh, interpret the tongues myself I was very happy that I had that gift everyone got it within them all you've got to do is ask for it are you willing to ask are you willing to ask for it um, see you in the next video